Hey guys, it's Nicolás Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do another video on using the video player and grabbing the texture from the video player and rendering that on a UI element. And that's what I did on the previous video, but I didn't really show you all the details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to the video that I did previously, but I'm going to show you step by step just in case if you need to do something like that. So what I'm going to be doing today is not really going to need, be needed for what, I, for what I'm going to be doing for my app but because i already implemented it a little bit different but i'm going to be basically rendering a video on a raw image that we have right here and i'm just going to be creating that so normally what you'll need to do if you want to if you want to make this work what you'll have to do is you have to create a raw image so you will go into ui and then raw image and this is something that i just learned i i really have fun learning this so i'm pretty sure that you're gonna have fun as much as i did and just put this on the top and let's say that you want to render a video there and you might have a you know an intro to your game or to your app or you know something that you want to have more more be more entertaining so now that i have that i have a i have a script that i that i created and it's called a stream a stream video and i'm going to show you that script that's the same one that i'm using for the implementation on the ui so the way that it'll work is you'll add the script and I'm gonna show you how that script works. I'm also going to change the way to play for seconds to 0.3. So this is the wait time that we're, that it's, that we're gonna wait before we try to play the video. The reason for that is because when you are trying to use a video player and we're using the API video player, we need to make sure that the video, the engine has, has started, the video is ready to play. And so there's a prepare life cycle that you have to check before you actually play the video so now that i have that i'm going to pull a video and show you let's say that i go into videos here and i'm going to pull i'm going to pull one of these let's just pull this one i'm just going to drag it and drop it it doesn't need to be inside of this it can just be anywhere so in this case i just drag it and drop it into the raw image and it created a reference to the to the media player the other thing that i'm going to do is i'm also going to loop it so i want to you know as soon as i play and it's ready to go i'm going to loop the video so if you notice this is already set to play on awake so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do that through the api so you're going to go into render mode here and we're going to say api only and then we're going to go into our stream video here and i'm going to be changing a few things because this was meant for the for the other video so let's do this let's go ahead and clone this and i'm going to name this let's go ahead and just call this one a stream video on demand or that, that way I can give it a different name and, and it doesn't conflict with my other implementation. So let's just do this on demand. And then what I'll do is we're still gonna wait for that amount of seconds. We can just set it you know, to 0.3, just like I did in the inspector. We're gonna need a reference to the video player. That's what you're gonna need because you're gonna have to start the video. We're also gonna need a reference to the raw image that we're gonna be, that we're gonna be referencing. So in this case is, it's going to be associated to the inspector. You can say get component and get it as well. We're going to leave it this way. I, I like to do that. I'm actually going to remove this as well. And I start video. This is this doesn't really apply in this example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say, let's go ahead and do it on the awake. And then we're just going to do on the awake, we're going to do a core routine. And that core routine is going to make sure that the video is ready to be played. And so it's going to do what I told you at the beginning. It's going to do a prepare on the video player. And then once the video player prepare gets executed, we're going to wait for 0.3 seconds. And then we're going to say, okay, if the video hasn't been prepared, we're still going to wait. We're still going to wait. Once it has been prepared, we're going to grab the raw image texture and associate that texture with a video player texture. And then we're going to play the video. So that's how you can send the texture information from the video to the raw image. So now that I have this going, I think this is all good. Now we can go back into Unity and I can show you how we can make this work. And what I'm going to do is, if you notice, this is the stream video, so I need to remove this. I'm going to add the one that we're going to be playing with, which is going to be the stream video on demand. I just pick a different name. It doesn't mean that we're going to do it on demand. It just means that I just need a different name for a different implementation. So I just associated the video player basically the video player component with the video player and then we also need to do the same thing with the raw, the raw image so i'm going to just do that and then we're going to wait for this long before we play the video so if everything works as expected this should be playing a video and let's give it a second here and looks like oh, okay 
the reason why I don't see anything is because I put the raw image inside of inside of these components. So if we enable it, let me go ahead and do it this way. So I'm going to grab the raw, raw image and we're going to put it right at the very top. There we go. And I think that's everything. Let's just rename this and let's just call it video test. And I think that should work. Let's just go ahead and hit play. And give it a second here. And there we go. So we're just going to move it down. And we can just put it right here. So that kind of shows you that you can, you know, you can send the information from the, the video player, the texture, and then associate that texture with the raw image texture. And that's how we can get, so we can do, you know, resizing. We can do, you know, any, anything that we wanted to do with that video image. And that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions on anything that I mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe because that's going to really help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Thank you, guys.